quality frost going on. Good thing I'm not running late for this morning's Fanatics Friday coffee date or anything. Ah, uh, yeah. Gotta love winter in the South Island. Look at that sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Right, made it in, albeit about 20 ish minutes behind my regular schedule. It's okay, I'm not gonna dilly daddle around too much. We're gonna get into the Fanatics Friday coffee date, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna crack in to a cracking Friday. Woo! But before we chug on, let us remember yesterday's FX6 incidents. We shall never forget. Stupid aquariums, stupid water, stupid fish tanks. But we love it. I love it, you love it. We all love it. Let's be real here. Aquariums are cool. Right, that's enough. Let's crack on to the Fanatics Party Coffee Date. I'll see you afterwards. Oh, that there was an absolute blast. If you're any interested in aquascaping or running an aquascaping shop or how things are done over in Europe, holy heck, that was great. Uh, James and Nicole were fantastic guests. I highly suggest you check out the replay on YouTube. Well and truly worth it. It was brilliant. Um, again, as always, sitting on a cloud. So, uh, yeah, I love that. Bring on next week. Uh, bring on the afterglow from today. And let's just crack on what we'll do for the day. It would appear that the rams have all kind of settled in neatly. Some pretty looking fish. Real pretty looking fish. Look at the dorsal on that. It's a good looking fish. If, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Proper spectacular fish. Even the standard German rams are very, very nice looking fish. Nice and chunky, incredibly healthy looking fish. Very excited to have these available for sale in a couple of weeks time. What's the word that Axel Rose uses? Yowza! Unfortunately not such a good time for the Starlight Bristlenose. Uh, they don't really enjoy travelling so well when they're small. Once they get bigger, no dramas with travelling. When they're small, they just hate life and hate travelling. Uh, unfortunately, because they're a really, really pretty looking fish. These guys have easily got to be the most hungry gutted fish I've ever met in my life. I've literally just put some fish in there, asked uh, some fish in there, some food in there, and walked away. Grabbed the microwave container. They've already demolished the food, and as soon as I've seen the microwave container, they're all like, more, more, more. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give it's absolutely crazy how incredibly hungry gutted these things are. I love it. I'm still absolutely loving these monsters. Stupidly cool. I'm not sure I've ever paid this much attention to them. But far out there, Rad. And obviously this big boy wants to uh, make some babies. The bubble nest going on, that kind of stuff. Yeah, cool fish, real cool fish. Very cool fish. Just spent about an hour and a half ish or so doing a whole bunch of overrated, underrated, so they're all set for next week, ready to rock and roll. Got a week and a bit's worth. This is good. I'm uh, gonna start making up some memes, getting that done. Definitely on that slide all the way down to the weekend now. Just nailed two more guests for the Fanatics Friday coffee date coming up. We're now all booked up until September, but one week in August, which I'm just about over the line with another guest. So I'm fizzing. Because I'm fizzing so much, fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. Uh, let's give you a wee, uh, look at the list of what's coming up. All right, so upcoming we've got Jen and Nora who are fish veterinarians, Nelson who is a hobbyist turned a small business owner, Rob McClure 
uh, well-renowned uh, aquarist featuring mainly to do with catfish. Steven Scapes, massive aquascaper. Project Piaba doing a lot of work around um, uh, fish in the wild and that kind of stuff. Larry Johnson, huge in the African cichlid scene. Shoal again doing some more work with ground conservation and into September we have uh, George Farmer coming up. So I'm pretty fizzy about all of these people coming up. We just need to fill this gap here in the middle which I'm working on at the moment. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've over exaggerated a little bit. Anyway, it means we've got a lot of guests coming up. So I'm excited for the next couple of months worth of Fanatics Friday coffee dates. And I hope you guys are as well. We had a random pop in bomb, Safi, today. What are we up to, buddy? What's the plans for the weekend? Rocking and rolling. Yeah, but it's a water tomorrow. Oh, water change time? Yeah. Yep. Nice, yeah. nice. And then what are you doing on Monday? Working here. I'm Good. On Monday. Good man. Yeah. All right, mate, I'll leave you with it. Okay. Cool. This is the subject of the next display tank video that we have in here. I'm going to be recording it tomorrow, so I'm very much looking forward to it. It's cherry barbs. Better stay on fine form and look spectacular. Yes, you better. Anyway, that is Friday, done and dusted. Didn't really do a lot of fish keeping today. Did a lot more on the computer keeping. Hey, where are all the pilgrimings? One, two, three. I only see three. I thought I had like five or six in here. What's going on? Have I not been paying much attention to them? Have they perished and I didn't realise? Has someone come into the shop and stolen my grammys? Oh, there's another one. That's obviously the most likely thing that's happened. Someone's actually come into the shop during the night time, worked out what the alarm code is, pushed the buttons, come on in, taken one or two of my pearl grammys, and then left me like that for me to discover like this. It's like when you're a young kid and you're at a house party and you take people's light bulbs or something stupid like that or take the batteries out of the remote. That's exactly what someone's done to my pearl grammys. Anyway, enough of the rambling. That's Friday then. We'll chop on to Saturday. Uh, yeah, we'll start the morning with taking some videos of these cool things and we'll go from there.